Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. So we're jumping right in with laundry because y'all know I've been really trying to stay on top of it. So I'm just sorting some laundry and then once I get that going, I'm going to go into my kids room. My main reason for filming this video today was to shampoo the kids bedroom carpets and in my office and just like a couple of other tasks that I had to do, but mainly shampooing rugs and laundry for today. Okay, in the little one's room, this is their shared room. It's a little messy. They're not here right now, so I'm taking this opportunity to shampoo their rug in their room. There's that box of clothing that I found in my office closet a couple videos ago. Me and Sultan were actually going through that box, and there's a bunch of little girl stuff that I want to give to my best friend when she comes to visit next weekend. Um, I'm also going to be filming a clean with me before guest and after guest. She is coming with seven kids plus my three, so we're going to have a very full house and probably a lot to clean up I know y'all saw all those unfolded sheets on the top shelf but we'll get to that in another video I need to declutter so many of those sheets if you guys remember Ruby and Sultan used to share a room so I had matching sheets for them but now that Emir and Sultan share it's like boy girl so I don't need doubles of all the girl sets uh, my main thing for this room is to get that paint stain off the floor. My kids aren't meant to have paint in their rooms. That's strictly for the garage, but this got past me, so they spilled. And there are some marks on the walls and on the beds. I'm not actually cleaning their room. I'm just shampooing their carpets. I don't even put their laundry away anymore. I did go ahead and wipe down the TV because they obviously climb up here and get fingerprints all over it, so I am wiping that off. The dresser is decorated i'll say um emir went ahead and <laughs> made a whole mural on the dresser honestly i thought it was really cute but it just looks bad i don't even know what that was but um i'm getting rid of that whole thing it's really old and i have something else that i want to put in here that's smaller The Bissell was doing a good job at getting up the um, perimeter of where it was not as heavily concentrated. I think it spilled over and stood there for a while and by the time I came into the room, it was one of those messes that you see and you're just like, let me walk away for a sec. So it did sit for a while. I grabbed my spot cleaner to try and get more of it out. It did an okay job. You know, after you try to get stains out of rugs, you have to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to come back the next day and see what it looks like. What did it be? 
And that's it for the little one's room until they get back. I think I'm going to show Sultan how to use the spot cleaner so she can get up the rest of the spots. Now in Ruby's room, same thing. I won't be cleaning or organizing in here. I'm just going to be shampooing the rugs. I did show her closet so it would prompt her to clean it up. I told her if it was still a mess, I'm going to show it in my video. I'll help her of course when I do the little one's closet shelf and all the blankets. Ruby has like the same situation going on in her room. So I'll help her with that and probably include it in a video. Now in my office, same routine, quick vacuum, and then I'm going to start shampooing. I think I did end up dusting some things off. My office gets really dusty and I like to keep it really clean, especially now that the closet is finally organized. I, I love my office. I switched out for a heavy duty duster cloth. This is really for my car, but it does a really good job at dusting. I stopped for a second here because I'm like, what is this? We had went to some random basketball game a few months ago and I'm like, maybe I should take it out of the box. Never mind, it was terrifying. Then I'm like, wait, who is this? He kind of cute. <laughs>
And that is it for my office. It's nice and clean. It smells so fresh on this side of the house now. Remember I did the other side of the house um, a few weeks ago. Now I'm in the kitchen. I'm just going to tidy up really quick. I just took the trash out. Then I noticed there was garbage juice, I guess I should call it, at the bottom. So um, I grabbed my bleach. I ran out of my bleach cleanup I, I forgot what the difference is but to me bleach is bleach so i just used the foaming bathroom bleach cleaner because i needed something quick and i wanted to get that cleaned up i had my robe on because i sat down to talk to my mom when i put the trash out um normally i wiggle it so the lizards can run off but this time i was in a hurry because i was filming and i accidentally um yeah and i just felt really bad oh i'm giving y'all that look like don't come for me for using all this paper towel i don't like using cleaning cloths on the inside of the trash can only on the outside but yeah i was devastated oh my gosh i felt so bad and my mom told me that she and my dad had a similar situation at their home in barbados where my dad accidentally um yeah the same thing with the little lizard that hangs out in their garage and we have one of those in our back patio we call him mufasa because he sits at the very corner of the couch like at the highest point it reminds me of pride rock so yeah he's called mufasa <laughs> So I am an air fryer queen. I know some of the girls do um, crock pot. Do they still do that? I never really got into that. I'm like air fryer for everything, but it gets so dirty back here. So I pulled it out to clean it. I was shocked when I first saw it like, ew. So the last thing I have to do in the kitchen is wash the cutting board and clean the sink. Then I'm headed into the living room to fold a ton of laundry. I actually had to stop because I had a surprise guest. So this turned into a two day cleaning video. On the second day, I did the rest of the folding, put everything away, and then finally vacuuming and mopping the house.
sorry about me aggressively kicking the laundry basket open i wanted to show you guys my death note shirt that my brother-in-law juan got for me for christmas it's so cute i'm adding it to ruby's pile because she did mention that she wanted to wear that soon so yeah she's always in my closet and honestly i'm always in hers So this is when my surprise guest popped up bold he is because I always ask people not to do this but clearly I was very happy. Um, I was telling him like stop talking to me you're making me blush on camera so that's why I'm so smiley and giggly and stopping to give him multiple hugs because I missed him. So his reason for popping up was actually so we can go eat dinner and i'm like i'm in the middle of filming i haven't showered yet i have to do my hair he's like girl just shower and put some dry shampoo in let's go <laughs> day two i had a nice little night off dinner was fun i accidentally ended up chipping my tooth it's not that noticeable but i definitely have already made a dentist appointment it's because it's like sharp on my tongue um i just i don't know i don't like it and it's my two front teeth which is just typical jess and just stupid but anyway there's a lot more laundry on the couch now because i continued when i got back home i continued doing laundry and now i'm just putting the little ones clothing in their basket and i'll set that in their room so when they come home they can put it away same thing for ruby my stuff i didn't fold or put away on camera i'll do that in a video i'm gonna do probably tonight or tomorrow just cleaning my room bathroom and organizing my closet I love whenever someone brings me Celsius, but this one was Arctic vibe. <laughs> Not my fave. You can tell I'm disappointed, but it is what it is. I'm so grateful. Not the puppy dog eyes. Got me out here looking soft.
Now I'm starting on vacuuming all the floors. This isn't really thorough. My floors weren't that bad. This is really just uh, maintenance. So that's why I'm not like putting the chairs up. There's one missing that my guest was sitting on. I'll put that back later. But yeah, after this, I'm just going to seam up the high traffic areas and that'll be it. that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll make more like this as always thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you all in my next video